Hey guys, welcome to Pill Reaction, wherein we discuss about the drugs and their adverse reaction. In this episode, we are going to discuss about sumatriptin and its adverse reaction. Let's get right into it. So, to begin with, let us have a quick reference of sumatriptin, also known as triptans. It is a selective agonist of serotonin receptor also known as 5-hydroxytryptamine-1b and 1-d receptor which is located in cranial blood vessels. Clinically, sumatriptan is used for treating acute migraine attack. Sumatriptan is sold under the brand names Sumitrix, Sumitop, so on. Moving on to the mode of action, as previously told, sumatriptan is used in the treatment of migraine. Therefore, to understand the mechanism of action of sumatriptine, we need to study about the pathophysiology of migraine. During migraine, trigeminal nerve that is cranial nerve 5 becomes activated. This results in the release of neuropeptides from cranial nerve 5. Neuropeptides cause painful neurogenic inflammation in the meningeal vascular causing vasodilation and activation of nociceptors, all of which contributes to the migraine headache. Pharmacological treatment of acute migraine headache using sumatriptan which acts by stimulating 5-HT1B and 5-HT1D presynaptic autoreceptors which gives negative feedback mechanism to the granules or the vesicles where neuropeptides are stored. Therefore, the release of neuropeptides is inhibited. This action will decrease the inflammation, vasodilation and pain. Moving on to the adverse effects. Clinical side effects of sumatriptan are usually mild. It causes dizziness, weakness, etc. Whereas, overdosing of sumatriptan results in a rare condition known as drug-induced self-hemoglobinemia that makes our blood appear dark green or blue in color. Let us have a look how overdosing of sumatriptan results in self-hemoglobinemia. This is the chemical structure of sumatriptan where it contains a triptan nucleus and a sulfur atom. Overdosing of sumatriptan leads to an interesting phenomenon which occurs when a hemoglobin molecule incorporates a sulfur atom into its structure and becomes self-hemoglobin. We know that hemoglobin contains an atom of iron to bind to oxygen. In self-hemoglobin, the sulfur atom prevents the iron from binding to oxygen since its oxygen-iron bonds that makes our blood appear red. With self-hemoglobin, blood appears dark blue or green. Treatment for self-hemoglobinemia is simple. That is, RBC have a natural lifespan of about 120 days, after which they are broken down and the components are recycled. So, any RBC cells that contains self-hemoglobin will be destroyed by macrophages resulting in decreased concentration of self-hemoglobin. For more such pill infotainment videos, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.